Dr. Yoni Witten here, and in this no-nonsense video, we're going over the hard science for permanently correcting forward head position, also known as neck hump. Let's get into this. This presentation is going to piggyback on a video that I released a couple weeks ago called What is Neck Hump? Now, if you haven't seen that video yet, I strongly recommend that you go back and watch that before continuing on here. One of the things that I talked about in that video is that the term neck hump is actually a relatively new term that's being used to describe what had otherwise been known as an anterior head carriage or a forward head position. Now, what's happening in a forward head position is simple. It's that the normal lordotic curve in the neck, what you see here indicated in green, has been reduced, lost altogether, or even reversed, like you see in this image, where the curve of the neck is actually pointing in a wrong direction. And as a consequence of this, the head has shifted out in front of the body. Now the problem with losing the curve in the neck and the efficient carry position that it provides is that as that head moves forward, it becomes way heavier specifically 10 pounds heavier for each inch that it moves out in front of you. Now, as that head moves further and further forward and becomes heavier and heavier, the body has no choice but to take the base of your neck and your upper back and shift it outward in an attempt to counterbalance you and make sure that you don't fall on your face. But the loss of curve in the neck and the heavy head that's pushed out in front of you that comes with it leads to a host of other problems, specifically chronic pain. Studies have shown that for people that get to zero degrees of curvature in their neck, they've gone from the normal range, 20 to 40 degrees to zero, that's a military straight neck or reverse curve, they're 18 times more likely to suffer from chronic neck pain. They also suffer from a host of soft tissue pain syndromes, chronic muscle strain, disc bulges and herniations, nerve compression, carpal tunnel syndrome, thoracic outlet syndrome, uh, TMJ problems, and all different types of headaches just as a result of losing the normal carry position of the head and altering the curves of the spine. We also talked about how to spot a forward head position. Now, the first thing that I look for is altered alignment. The term neck hump actually gets in the way and misleads people to looking at the base of the neck and the upper back when what they should be looking at is the whole of the ear in relationship to the center point of the shoulder. Ideally, those two structures should line up directly on top of one another. This would put you in the most efficient position to resist the pull of gravity. Instead, what you see with a forward head position is that the ear is pushed way out in front of the shoulder, like you see in this image, which is the altered alignment that I'm looking for when trying to identify forward head position. But in and of itself, altered alignment is not enough to make the diagnosis. The other things that I'm looking for are restricted motion, like we talked about in the first video, 85 to 90 degrees of rotation in each direction, 40 to 45 degrees of side bending, smooth, easy, pain-free, effortless motion in every direction. What you'll find in a forward head position is as the normal curve in the neck is lost, the facet joints are not lined up properly and this interferes with your ability to move properly. The other thing that we saw from the journal World Neurosurgery 2010 is cervical kyphosis upper trapezius sign or what I call trap sign. And these are heavily developed tight tender muscles here at the base of the neck in a person that has never lifted weights in their life very often. And those muscles are heavily developed to resist that all that extra weight of the head being held in a forward head position. This study made it known that just having those heavily developed muscles that are out of proportion with the rest of the muscular development in a person is enough to strongly indicate a loss of the normal curvature in the neck. And then finally, that pain specific pattern that we were talking about, pain that the person wakes up feeling fine, but as the day goes on, they get worse and worse and worse as the head is being pulled on by gravity for all hours of the day that they're upright. And then the moment that they go lying on their back, they feel this sensation of relief wash over them because they're no longer being required to perform all that extra muscular effort to hold themselves in that inefficient position. Those are the classic signs of forward head position. Now, famous medical author and posture correction pioneer, Dr. Rene Kellier has stated that a head in forward position adds up to 30 pounds of abnormal leverage to the spine. And this is enough to pull your whole spine out of alignment. 
So again, as that normal curvature in the neck is lost and that head shifts further and further forward, there are lots of different structures that are involved. The joints of your neck, the ligaments that run along the front and the back of the spine, the muscles and tendons that are responsible for holding you up all day long. And then finally, the system that operates and runs your posture at the subconscious level, your central nervous system is heavily involved in this process. And this is important because a lot of the videos that have been put out on this topic talk about using tennis balls or other objects and pressing them into the bump at the base of your neck or in your upper back in an attempt to push you into an upright posture. Now, not only does this ignore multiple structures that are on this list that are involved in the regulation of your posture, but it doesn't seem to be proven in the literature. I, I checked the scientific databases for any studies that used this technique and showed it to be effective and couldn't find a single one. So it's important to note that if you're gonna spend time, effort, and in some cases money working to correct a problem, that there should be some scientific data showing that that's effective. I don't think that's an unreasonable expectation. What I wanna do now is introduce you to a scientifically backed, clinically proven strategy for putting the normal curve back into the neck and eliminating forward head position. In this study from 2003, researchers took a group of people with forward head position and they x-rayed them all so that they could measure the amount of curve in their necks. They then underwent the following procedure. They received three manipulations, two to the neck, one to the upper back. They then wore a four pound anterior head weight and walked on a treadmill for five minutes. At the end of the five minutes, they were re-x-rayed and they re-measured the amount of curve in the neck. And what these researchers found was absolutely amazing. In just one five minute treatment, they were able to put nearly 10 degrees of curvature back into these people's necks. They were also able to reduce forward head position by 0.83 inches across the board. There was even one subject that reduced their forward head position by one and a quarter inches. Now you might be saying to yourself, well, maybe it was the ma manipulations that were responsible for the reduction in forward head position. Well, in this study from 2016, researchers removed manipulation from the equation. They tested just wearing a 1.1 pound head weight and walking on a treadmill for five minutes at three miles an hour. And what they measured here was photographs with digital measuring software that analyze a person's posture, as well as the pressure pain threshold. That's how hard we need to push on these muscles here at the base of the neck to elicit a pain response. What they found after a single application that's walking on a treadmill for five minutes while wearing this anterior weighting device was that they were able to put 5% more curvature back into the neck. Again, single treatment, and they were able to reduce the pressure pain threshold in these muscles at the base of the neck by 17%. Now, going off what we know from the trap sign, we know that if we can reduce the tension and tenderness in those muscles, we can reasonably assume that the head is coming into a more efficient carry position. And this is why I developed my active traction units. It's because it strengthens your body's ability to fight off the pull of gravity and the effects of the modern lifestyle. By adding this anterior weighting device, you can pull the body into an upright position and positively affect all the structures that are involved in a forward head position. That's joints, ligaments, muscles, tendons, and most importantly, the central nervous system integrating here, vestibular input, body position sense, and visual input from the eyes. The active traction unit improves posture and joint alignment, it reduces pain, it increases range of motion, and it trains your body to correct posture on the level that posture operates, which is the subconscious. And most importantly, once you've got yourself an active traction unit and you're working with it regularly, your head will no longer be, like Rene Callier said, the most neglected part of your fitness program. So as you can see, the concept for the active traction unit wasn't just pulled out of thin air. I scoured the scientific literature looking for the most effective way to correct forward head position, and then we built upon that science. I wanted to make the most comfortable, versatile, and effective head weights on the planet, and we've done that. The entire unit is constructed of geoprene for comfort and sustainability. We've got adjustability straps top and bottom so that you can get the perfect fit, and then we've added this unique pocket in the top tube here so that weight can easily be added or subtracted so that no matter where you're starting from, how forward your head is, or what your fitness level is, you can be successful with this device. 
Check the link in the description down below to pick up your active traction unit today. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more videos with additional strategies for correcting your posture and eliminating forward head position. That's all for now. See you next week.